Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shoutcast match brought to you by Rek Goska. I'm going to be presenting to you this 1v1 replay versus Vile Spanishiwa, uh, also known as Vile Spanishwa due to the Blizzard's character limitation at the top, versus Team VVV's Time. Uh, so this will be an interesting Protoss versus Zerg. Uh, it looks like VVV Time has a uh, little irritation about uh, going against the Spanishiwa build, which is the, uh, basically where you go mass queens and mass, uh, you expo first right away, and then you, uh, get all four geysers at once and then, uh, rocket fire your tech after you get about 40 drones, which is an amazing build, uh, it's the latest Zerg rage for right now, uh, so we'll see how time counteracts that, and definitely, uh, see how these players get going underway. Uh, gonna switch over here to the production tab. It looks like we just got this game going on right now. Uh, I just want to point out to everybody, do a couple of, of plugs here. We've got uh, the first Red Ghost Open Tournament uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, if you're interested in checking that out, you can check that out at www.thestarcast.com. Uh, prize pool on that is $50, uh, so it's definitely something to take a look at. Um, other than that, if you like my channel, like these games, please subscribe to my channel down below, and I will be broadcasting that entire tournament to this channel. Um, so yeah, and we will definitely see the uh, this game and how it's going. I'm very excited to see this build in action versus Protoss. Uh, I had a friend of mine, Mork, try this out, and the last time I did it, uh, I basically just forgated him and was able to crush him, but he said his timing was a little off. Uh, but we do have a Forge expand here coming from... A Forge expand coming from VVV Time, which is very s interesting on this map, just because the area for the Nexus is so large that it's just very, very difficult to pull off the forge expand uh, looks like we do have a, a reverse block here coming from uh, Spanishiwa as he lays down an evolution chamber to block the Protoss base and we do have a cannon going up so he'll be able to take care of that meanwhile Spanishiwa is getting his cannon up or his hatchery up not his cannon up I do like watching these pro players play just because they can do some amazing stuff here where you're just like wow I can't believe that's perfectly viable letting the evolution chamber finish so this will definitely delay that expansion for quite some time here as he is pulling drones to work on taking that expansion down uh, meanwhile this base is very wide open for ling aggression as there is just the one cannon zerglings can run easily run by and up into the main as he does only have that one cannon up getting the evolution chamber now just about finished and once that's gone, he'll be able to throw down his Nexus. It looks like he's getting close to that 400 minerals now, getting that gateway going up as well. Uh, no gas as of yet for Spanishiwa. He is getting his first of many queens being produced as well. So it looks like he did just want to slow down the Protoss player just a little bit. Other than that, now we do have that expansion going up here for a time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they transition here. Uh, we do have some Zerglings out on the map right now. Looks like just a handful just as using as those as spotters right now. Uh, second queen now in production as well as getting a third queen. And if we look at the unit counting station we currently have 20, uh, 20 drones to 25 probes so uh, time is definitely in the lead as far as harvester wise but we'll see if uh, Spinishiwa can actually catch up and it looks like he is using his queen to just kind of block off that ramp possibly just to lay a creep tumor right there and then get on that neck that hatchery to do some injecting Meanwhile, here we do have the Zergling here chasing this probe, and the probe is going to get to the safety of his cannon brother. Uh, but he can actually do damage to this Nexus without the, uh, ooh, Stargate. And Spanishwa definitely saw that. As you can see, that Stargate is warping in and even clicks on it to double check that it is a Stargate. Now, with this cannon going up here, he won't be able to harass this Nexus before it gets finished. I hate Stargate. Yeah most zergs do lifting up all those queens but with as many queens as he's gonna get he should be able to hold off most aggression uh, from any kind of stargate play uh, is now up to those four geysers so we'll see what kind of tech path he chooses to go with plus one ground weapons now being researched for the protoss player and that stargate is just about finished we'll see if he decides to go for void ray first or phoenix first or if he decides to just hold off on using that stargate altogether maybe psych his opponent out a little bit and we nope void ray here comes the void ray being chrono boosted out right now 
And where are you being rallied to? Ooh, straight up to the third base of the Zerg. So that'll definitely do some interesting damage. Um, interesting enough, Time has no sight of his the top of his uh, main base as most of his buildings are being built down here at the natural. Uh, Spanishio could definitely use this to basically get him out of position. Maybe throw up a Nidus or some kind of trick... Uh, drops or something in the back of the Protoss base and actually do be able to do quite a bit of damage now. Second gateway is going up and researching that warp gate technology. Uh, but I mean, it looks like this Void Ray is going to spot and we do now have several Zealots on their way in and these Queens should hopefully be able to take those Zealots down. Uh, getting all three of those Queens clumped up and target firing down those Zealots. Microing the, the Queen away. Is he going to lose Queen? Less loses one Queen. Meanwhile Drones get a surround on that second Zealot microing just a couple of those weak drones away and is he gonna lose a second queen no not quite gonna lose a second queen manages to hold off that early aggression right away meanwhile we do have a phoenix and a void rate on the way two sport crawlers are going up but they probably will not finish up in time and it's only a matter of time oh it looks like he is pulling away with those two units so those sport crawlers will should definitely finish on time now uh, meanwhile we do have several zerglings being produced here just to help thwart off any kind of zealot aggression uh, so we have both players kind of macroing up and yes those spore crawlers are now being morphed now overseer being morphed in as well possibly to scout for any kind of ridiculous shenanigans doing some harassment damage to those overlords will any of those overlords get taken out no but it looks like well, that phoenix almost got taken down uh, we do have several more pylons being produced here as well as going up to four gas so we'll see what kind of tech path the Protoss player decides to go with. We have four warp gates right now and a stargate, but it looks like that stargate is no longer producing units as he does realize that the Zerg base is pretty well defended from any kind of air aggression. And where did that void ray go? There's a phoenix there, phoenix there. Wondering if that void ray got taken out. Oh, nope, there he is sitting at home in the base. Okay. Zergling is now working on taking out those destructible rocks and picking off that drone before he can morph into a third base. Um, looks like the Void Ray is heading on to a nice little attack path here just to clear the watchtowers. Zergling's now working on taking on those destructible rocks and now we have Robo Tech coming up for our Protoss player. OWTF, those are real. Yes, those are real Phoenixes. He built a Stargate. And it looks like that Overlord did pop it. Uh, ooh, and Festers now being produced as well as the Pathogen Gland. If you start the Pathogen Gland upgrade, or the Infestors building, when you're at 30 of 80 building these Pathogen Glands, they will spawn with the 75 energy versus the, the weaker amount of energy. And ooh, a lot of more Phoenixes now coming in. These Phoenixes are, you know, they're going to be able to do some damage to these Overlords, but they're not going to be able to do too much damage. This drone is going to get picked up and probably sniped. Nope, decides to let that one live another day. Just keeping an eye and making sure that Zerg is not taking a third base. Ooh, meanwhile, we do have some Zergling aggression down here, taking out one of those sentries. And it looks like he is going to retreat with those Zerglings before any more damage is done. Protoss player is now working on taking out down his destructible rocks and getting ready to take his third base. Uh, so it looks like those Zerglings, though, didn't get in here to do too much damage as he does have those cannons there. Just kind of like look like he wanted a poke and prod. Uh, we do have 18 Zerglings now being morphed in as well as ooh, Dark Shrine coming up for our Protoss player. Uh, so we'll be seeing some uh, Dark Templar aggression. Uh, I don't believe that Overseer is still alive. Where are you Overseer? No, there is no Overseer but however there are Spore Crawlers up and these Spore Crawlers should be able to provide enough detection that the DTs won't be able to do too much damage to the Zerg's base but probably will be able to do quite a bit of damage to the Zerg's mineral line. Meanwhile, Queens are looking to do some damage to those vo that Void Ray. However, with the Phoenixes coming in here, these Queens are very susceptible to being destroyed. Ooh, looks like he wanted to bait